Hello everyone, I am Surabhi. Welcome to my channel. So few days back I was playing a game with my child uh, during our metro journey uh, which I used to play as a kid and uh, then it made me realize that when we were kids we used to play so many games with pen and paper that all our motor skills, precision skills, patience, logic, everything was developed using those games with my siblings or my parents and uh, we did not need any extra workbooks or extra practice and uh, now I use those games with my kids to you know, pass time during our journeys basically, during our travel time when my kids can't move. So especially with my younger one who doesn't even read much. So uh, I thought I'll share the three or four games which we play during our travel time, which is like 20, 30 minutes. And uh, just uh, my daughter always carries a diary and a pencil or a markers or something like that just to keep her busy. And I'm going to share that three or four games which we play. I don't know, I'll just check her diary, whatever we have played and I'll share. So many of the games which you would already be knowing because they are very very basic games and I'm telling after I, tell, I show you, you will remember your childhood too. But I just uh, I mean, thought I'll share. So uh, one game which my mom plays with them. Uh, so it's like more of grandparents game which doesn't need much logic. But um, yeah, it's a very uh, good thinking and very simple game which even like three year old can play. You know, you can say like that. So this one, I'm sure you remember this one. You see that? So uh, uh, how do we play it? So because this is a diary or like any diary, my kids carry different diaries at the time. That is like their personal thing, their bags. So we just, uh, I'll just show you what we do. Like we are sitting and uh, my kids, uh, I mean, I'm talking about little one mainly because elder one, you know, she reads. So I will uh, just make some dots depending on uh, how long my journey is or how much, how what kind of patient she has. Uh, so like that. I created dots okay and then uh, each one gets a turn like if my turn I join these two lines it's her turn she can join anything you know so uh, we will have to just join any two lines it can be horizontal vertical one my turn one her turn one my turn one her turn so like that so this is motor skills dot to dot line we did not have to do any tracing sheets okay this is what we did so when you know when uh, this like basic it will happen now when things you know when will get complicated when most of the things are done now the task here is to complete the square because whosoever completes the square or the rectangle whatever shape he gets to write his letter initial so he wins basically okay so if uh, now when uh, as of now we'll just put lines where we cannot close it so I put like um, this one, we do like uh, this. These all are like free time pass, okay? Nobody is winning. We are just we are just killing the time in our journey. Now, if my daughter do, does this, okay? I cross this and I write my name. So basically, I'll put M because ma, in my family, everyone is with S. So I'll put M, mama, and I got one. Now my daughter will put this one and she'll get a S. Now I'll put this one, but I could not complete a square. So then my, my daughter will rush to complete this one and put S. So like that, if you see. So this is a game we play very often. And uh, as a mama, it doesn't need much energy in thinking and talking. You know, when I'm very tired and I don't want to talk or do anything, I'll say, let's play that making squares game because it doesn't need any energy from mama. Just quietly keep doing it and then she'll be very excited counting and then in the end we have to count if there are more s it means she win if i am more m i win and that's a very simple game which counting and uh, motor skills and uh, as of now she when she can't draw dots because her dot doesn't become square one dot here one dot there one dot there one dot there but as she gets better in it she will be able to draw uh, dots uh, without drawing lines you get it like I do so that's become her spatial reasoning skills think of it so much things we are doing with this simple pen and paper game so this is like the first game my kids learned uh, during travel time or with their grandparents also uh, my mom taught this game to them so when they were like five five six year old so that is this level of game it is okay the second game is we do letters game or numbers game it's like a drawing game where I will give um, like we are sitting again I have a diary I'll draw a I write random letters, random numbers, and then they have to draw something out of it. Basically, in what shapes you can turn that letter to, all your imagination, and 
uh, after they have done it, I need to guess to think like, what do you think they have drawn? You know, that's a game. So, uh, so one way is like, they just draw and I appreciate it. Like, wow, I could not think of this idea. Or sometimes like, okay, I don't know what to do with this letter. So I'll show what I did. So if you see, I have drawn simple letters. Like I drawn A, B, C, D. So darker one is what I have drawn. Okay, now it leads to her imagination. Like if I just gave her letter A, I gave it like this. Okay, what can you make from it? So my daughter has done these things, if you see. And she said it's, and she did not tell me what it is. So uh, then I'll guess, sometime I can guess. And some, so as per it was a candy cane. So in candy cane, you have red and white lines, right? So she said, I made a candy cane. So from the letter C, she has made the castle wall. So it's not like precise or anything. It's just, again, keeping them busy, uh, you know, natural drawing prompts, uh, just with pen and paper, so like that. Uh, with B, uh, she has made like a fridge kind of thing in her terms and you know, uh, this is the upper door and this is the inside shelf. All her imagination, nothing is right or wrong. But that's what it is, right? Uh, just the imagination flow. So that is what, uh, with the D. So I have drawn D and she made diary horizontal. Okay, it's just like this. And she made a snail. Can you see that? So she said, I made a snail with a D. And then I have... Uh, drawn uh, with E she could not draw anything so then it comes to my imagination that okay mama I do not know what to draw with E so I will uh, I don't know maybe just make a box like this or extend you can do anything it's imagination it's free drawing anything again motor skills imagination and then uh, sometimes she carry color pencils so I said okay you have drawn it let's color it out so like that um, I draw F so she said I made a uh, tent kind of thing or castle kind of thing uh, with number two she has drawn a swan in her terms uh, with uh, Z she has drawn it seems you can see a turtle it seems she has drawn a turtle so this is a basic things she uh, we do and we can repeat it because sometimes she's like she has three or two or three ideas mama can you write more twos because I can create three things with number two and I'll happily draw two 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 for four pages and on every page she will think imagine and draw her things own and again least energy from myself right and not noisy movable i mean like you see all the benefits as a mama right what all uh, i can do so here i'm showing my elder one so she is like a champ in it much better i mean she's older right so i'll tell you see with the letter a so darker one with the letter a she has made a hat okay with letter mm, b she has made a girl. Can you see? She has made a... She said it's a woman. Because it's like... Okay, no. It's a little healthy. So she has said it's a woman. And uh, with letter V, she said I made a diamond. Uh, this is letter N. And she has made centaur. It's a mythical creature which has a half body of man and half of a unicorn. Something like that. So she made that one. Uh, with the C, she made a fish skeleton. Okay. And with the letter P, if you see, it's a very slim one. <laughs> she should not say, but yeah, that's what she says. Mama, it's a young girl. Okay. And uh, with the letter R, it's again just a girl or a woman, whatever. So if you can see very clearly. So again, just uh, least energy from me and we draw and let her, let their imagination do whatever they want. They can draw. And uh, then third game, no, yeah. So this is a game which is, uh, again, number alphabet recognition game. Uh, yeah, you can use it as a recognition game if the child is still learning or you can use it as a motor skills, logic, whatever. I mean, like that's what I'm telling. These games we have played as kids from the age of like 6, 7 to 10, 11. So, uh, you know, these are childhood games. It's They're not age specific. Here, yeah, 4 year old can play, 5 year old can play. They're like fun games for a short distance journey. So what, how you play this game? So if you see, I have written numbers and alphabets. I have written 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. You see, can you see clearly? Okay. You can go to as long as you want, as short as you want, depending on the patience of your child. And this is, this is a house. Okay, so that is the basic framework. Now, uh, she's playing and I am challenging her that 
I will tell her to which number to go, which alphabet to go, and then uh, like I okay here I have asked her that can you go to number nine? Okay, so if your child is just learning numbers, you can help that you know this is number nine. So that way they recognize the numbers. My girls know it. So she took a pencil and went to number nine. Okay, now can you go to number eleven? So she has to go to number eleven. Okay, can you go to letter F? Okay, she will go to letter F. Okay, can you go? So I am a champ in it, you know. I'm an adult. So I'm telling you. Ah, uh, can you go to letter A? So as a child, she'll go letter A. Can you go to number six? So now, if you see, how will she go number six? She has blocked herself. If she goes from here to here, she has to cross this line. You see that? So the point is, you have to trap the other person. inside a inside a a loop you know and if my child cannot reach a number without crossing any other line the child loses okay so if i told her like a i tell her to go f then you know she had to go from here and she go from here but here she has to cross this red line so she lost the game if i would have been doing it so this is a game i have played you see what is it like so one thing my child was like new So she just randomly gave. Okay, go here. Okay, she go here, 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 here. Very simple. She did not know the logic that she had to trap me. And even when she tried trapping me, learning the logic, I was very smart enough to go to the borders and keep the inside area open, so that and here also, you know, you see the precision. So as an adult, you can understand the tricks, but as a child, you can't. So and still, it's hard thing. So once they get a hang of it. But the thing is, again, here we are doing the motor skills because you have to be very precise that you do not touch any other number, any other line. You have to go like outside again, logical. Okay, that you know how can I draw that it doesn't get trapped anywhere. And when um uh, like I am playing, she is giving uh me the numbers to go or the alphabets to go to. She has to use her logic that how can I trap my mama so that one number or one alphabet goes. So basically, if she is able to give me a loop here. Then next time I'll not be able to enter it, you know. So we have to use a logic. Once you get it as an adult, it's like very very easy. But for a child, it's a very good puzzle. And um, she always says, "Mommy, you're always a winner," because uh, yeah, she's still developing her logic skills and uh, thinking spatially. That you know, um, how do I lock Mama? How many? Maybe you can make a big loop. How much faster you can get trapped? Like when she's playing, she gets trapped in like four to five moves. Uh, and she tries to catch me like maybe ten, eleven moves. So all these things, they are simple fun games which you can play with a child when you're traveling. And one another one, like I'll just show you her drawing activity. So I I made a circle like this. So you can give shapes also, like I told right for A B C. I just draw a shape, a circle I have drawn here. Okay, this is a circle I had drawn for her, and I told her like, okay, what can you make from it? So she has made a mouth in the front, made a tail and. Made paw, so it it actually looks like this. You see, she made a cat. So if not alphabets, numbers, just just share whatever you uh, whatever, and then tell her what is your imagination. So here I have drawn a triangle for her. I just drew a triangle for her, and I told her what you can draw with it. And she made a house, you know. And sometimes you have to show if like I'm talking about the initial days, one to two years back when they were very little. So I will show them. See, with the triangle I can make a house. With a circle I can make a Over, I can make a balloon, or with a circle, I change a shape. I can make a balloon, or anything, right? You have to sometimes have to show that ऐसे भी हो सकता है, and then they're like, oh, ऐसा भी हो सकता है, ऐसा भी हो सकता है, and then their, you know, दिमाग की घोड़े घोड़े दौड़ने लग पड़ते हैं. So I'm just sharing her the notebook. So she has made uh, castle with the shapes. Again, we have played this game here, and uh, see, this is the triangle. She made a bigger house. and uh, she made a flower using a small circle so then she keeps imagining herself and then she gives me challenges some difficult shape and then say okay what you can make like i made a heart like what you can make with a heart can you show uh, i'd like to focus so i draw a heart here let me draw it again so i draw a heart here for her and i told what can you make with a heart so she has given eyes to it she has made antennas to it and then made feet that mama it's a insect can you see This is difficult focusing, but yeah. So like that. So just give any shapes, any numbers, any alphabets, and let the imagination flow. And you don't need special workbooks. Like 
we did not need workbooks and work kits right so that's all i'm sharing the ideas of what we do while you're traveling um play with kids just play with pen and paper and school work whatever you say so that's all i wanted to share today and thank you for watching once again and bye bye